PC. Today I'm making this for you guys. In today's show, we're going to talk about output streams. Output streams are similar to input streams in that it's a transfer of data from one spot to another, but in this case, it's starting at the program and going usually towards the computer, towards being so it can be stored in a file or something like that. Output streams are used in video games a lot when, when you're trying to save uh, save your progress. So when you exit out of the game, they'll often make a make a file that records where you are in the game so that you can left off where you be, where you ended when you start playing again. So like like input streams, they need to be ha handled for exceptions. So with it, to end today, we're going to create a score variable and and look at storing the score value into our, a, a file. So let's see, see you guys in the tutorial. All right, so let's get started. As always, I have the class and the and the main method already. We're gonna to need to import a few things for this. First off, import scanner again. So import java.util scanner. We'll be using that in a second. And uh, we also need to import file reader. And we also need to import something called print writer. So, so we're gonna be using all these in our tutorial. What the goal is of, of this program is that we're going to input what we want to be added to the score, and then we want the score to be saved in a file. And the next time we run the program, input what we want to be added to the score, it'll be added to the score we already have. have. So we're going to create two variables, int score set equal to zero. And um, we'll be changing this to what, what we get from our file later, but for, for now we'll just make it zero. And we're going to create another one called int score add. This will be adding to the score. and We'll set equal to our argument or our input. So integer dot parse int arg zero. There we go. So now we'll do our input output stuff. So we'll have to go with and try and catch stuff, catch exception, and then we'll print out our error message. And don't forget something called there we go. So now we'll start with our um, print, print, and our input output stuff. So first we're gonna read the file, and then we're going to write our value or uh, read file, write on file, read file, write on file. There we go. So um, one thing that I wasn't able to overcome was that you have to have the file created first before you can read it. So um. Uh, if you tried to read the file and the file didn't exist, you'd get an error. It'll go, it'll go, it'll print out Mayday. What we're gonna do is, I'm first gonna show you how to write it, write it. And then we're gonna run the program, and then it'll create the file for us, and then we can continue on. And there should be no errors. But just know that I am taking advantage of the loophole, loophole there. So uh, before we write the file, we're gonna add the score add to our old score value. So score plus equals score add there. And now we want to print out our new score. So first off, we're gonna create a new class or new object of print writer. We can call it out set equal to new print writer. And um, the inputs for the constructor method are which file we're writing to, and its name. So put it in quotations. And the file writing is gonna be called score.txt. Uh, make sure you put something at the end there. You can also put dat, I think. But we're gonna use txt for this tutorial, which is a standard text document you'll use in Notepad or this program. So, and then, we're going to write our score to this new score.txt file. So we're going to say out.println our score. You should recognize this out.println from this down here. It's the same concept. In this part, we're grabbing out, which is our print writer class we just made. And in this case, we're, we're grabbing the out from our, which is our standard system output. It's the same concept. Okay, then once you've printed that on the document, we have to close the output stream. And this is very important. When I was designing design this toy, I was actually got stuck here, so you can put down out.close. So yeah, very important. If you don't do that, it won't work. I, I got stuck and I had to look on a forum to figure out what I was doing wrong. Here we go, we'll save it. And then I'll compile it. Be sure to spell print writer the same both ways. There we go, now I'll run it. Remember to put in your argument. There you go, it worked fine. At least you hope it worked fine. So now I'm gonna open it, and you can see right here, score is now a, a um, score is now a file here. So I'm gonna 
I'm gonna open it, and it said five right here, which matches up with what we inputted, so that, that works fine. And now I'm also gonna add on, I'm gonna print out our current score. Now we're gonna set up a scanner to re read, the, read, the, um, read the file, to so our score be able to keep up to date. This is what we went over the last tutorial. So first creating a scanner. New scanner. Okay. In the construction method, you have to put in put in an output stream, and this is a file, not an output stream. So um, we're going to cr use another cl class to convert the file over to an output stream. So that'll be we'll use create that class. New file reader. I'm actually not 100 percent sure why this works, but it works. The file reader is in the form of something that scanner get, that can be inputted in the constructor of scanner and score.txt. Well, it became, can be inputted in file reader. Something you need to do in order for it to work. Now we're going to set our score variable equal to the first line in score.txt. So, score is equal to in.next int. There you go. Alright, let's go through this one more time. You got score setting equal to zero. Then we got score add, which um, we will set our argument equal to the score I add variable. And then we're going to read the file score.txt. And we're going to grab the first line, and we're assuming it's a number, and we're going to set it equal to our score variable, so the score will probably no longer be zero. And next, we're going to add score add to score. So remember, score was our new score from the, from the file, and add is the number we input. And then we're going to create a new print writer class, which will print on the score.txt file. And we're going to print our new score after our, our um, score add variable is added to it. Then we're going to close it to make sure that it, the operation finishes. And then we're going to print out our new score. So, compile it. Works fine. So if you look at our score TXT, it says 5 right now. So if we run it, input 3. See, it says 8 because it adds 3 to our old one, 5. And it becomes 8. And if we try to open this, I get a message saying it's been modified. So I say, yeah, reload it. And it should say 8 right here. And yes, it does. So we can continue on, and the same process will hold true every time. And this way we're able to save our progress, and I'm sure you can see how this will be useful in games. So that's all for this tutorial. Stick around for the challenge to, to see if you understand it. This challenge, um, what we're going to do is, is we're going to create a program where you can input either A or B. You should put down A. It'll say you input it a one time, and you say b zero times. So say what percent of the time you input it, that particular thing. So if I put down b now, it should say 50 50. And then it'll keep recording your scores and doing the math each time. So that's today's challenge. Hope you learned something. Here's the outro. You've just watched an Inforge tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like the video and leave a comment. This helps out my channel. If you found the challenge helpful, you can find more of them at my website, www.sinforge.co. You can also find my games and my other tutorials there. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.